Okay, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys, uh, give you a little tutorial on how to use the Revolve tool inside of Inventor. So if we take a look, we are going to create this model right here. Okay, if I go ahead into Inventor, I'm going to go ahead and start with a new part. Okay, and we end up with our default screen here. Okay. Now, the first thing I need to do is, again, I'm going to start with a 2D sketch. And I'm going to choose a plane that I have here. And I'm going to choose the XY plane. I'm going to go back to my figure here to see what my dimensions are. Okay, so it looks like I have an outside diameter of 4.5. Okay, it looks like this, this feature here has a diameter of 2. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my sketching um, area here, and I'm going to sketch my shape first. And I'm going to use some lines. There we go. I'm going to put some dimensions on here. And this, uh, this is a radius, so the diameter is going to be 2.25 because that's half of the 4.5. Okay, I'll go back and double check my dimensions again. Okay, this inside a uh, circle is going to be 2, so that means that the radius is going to be 1. I'll change my dimension to 1. Now I've got to get my thicknesses properly dimensioned. This is a half an inch thick, and the whole thing is a uh, 1.5 thick. Okay? So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to put my dimensions in here. Change that to 0.5. And I'm going to change this to 1. Sorry, 1.5. Okay, and that's my shape. Now that I have my shape drawn, I'm going to go ahead and hit Finish Sketch, and it'll take me to the 3D tools. I'm going to go ahead and go to Revolve. Okay, now it highlights the profile that I just drew, but if you take a look, it's, it, it basically, I need to define what the axis of orientation is. The profile is selected. I'm going to go ahead and click on the axis button. Now I can go ahead and click the origin folder. Okay, and that'll give me my tools of my planes. I can actually look at my, um, go ahead and select my different axes, and it looks like my x-axis, it highlights me, highlights it for me over in the screen. I click on that, and it gives me a preview of what it should look like, and that's exactly what I'm looking for, and I'm going to say okay. All right, there we go. That's our shape. That's the one that we're, we're starting off with. Now, we also have this little groove here. We've got to put this groove in. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go in and create, I could have built that into the existing revolution that I already had, but what I'll do is I'll create a revolution to subtract, okay? Now, in order to do that, if you take a look, I'm going to go ahead and start 2D sketch, and I'm going to go ahead and select the XY plane again. But when I start drawing things, look what happens. I start drawing a line in here, and it kind of disappears. Okay, I can't see some of that shape. So what I need to do is I need to go to view, visual style, and sometimes you'll have to do this. I'm going to have to change this to wireframe, and that'll let me see basically through the part that I need. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensions on here. I have to go back to the sketch tool. Um, the dimensions that I'm given. Okay, it looks like it starts 0.17 over. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line in here. That way I know where it starts. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and draw my dimension here, 0.17. Okay, and it looks like I'm going to have to move that. So I'm going to have to draw a line in here as well. Okay, we get some points. I'm going to have to move this over just a little bit. I'm going to select my 
pieces that I want to move. Select. There's my triangle, my base point. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see that. I'm going to start here. and move that to there okay all right done okay now i can erase that dimension and it looks like it changed it because that was the original length of my line if i go back and i redimension that you'll see that it should measure the appropriate dimension and it does okay that's just a check okay so I'm going to delete that just so I know that that's in the proper location. Okay, now the other dimension that I'm given we take a look is this step, the 0.21. Okay, so I'm going to have to go ahead and dimension that as well. And it looks like I need to also put a line in there for that. So I'm going to put a line across, and I'm going to dimension from there to that point. And it looks like I need to change that just a little bit. Okay, and there we go. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this dimension again, delete this line. It does not give me an angle specification in here. So if I wanted to, I could go back and specify an angle. Um, but you'll see that I have my triangle extends beyond the outside diameter. You want to make sure that it does extend beyond the outside, that it doesn't end just at the outside or end inside, because if it ends on the inside, and we subtract that away, you'll never see it. Okay, so I'm going to finish this sketch. And I'm going to go back, and you can see my part's still in wireframe. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to change that to, um, I'm going to change that to realistic. Okay, now you'll see that some of my triangle disappears, but it's actually still there. So I'm going to go to 3D model again. And I'm going to go to revolve. And it highlights my geometry my, for my profile. I'll go to my axis, and you'll see that I'll click on my axis. Now, <clears throat> it's under the impression that I want to add that. However, I want to subtract that from my part. So what I'm going to have to do, instead of hitting Join, I'm going to go ahead and hit Cut. And then say OK, and it cuts that little section away. OK? So we are all good for that. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to create some holes. So I'm going to put a series of points in here um, for that. And all the holes are going to measure uh, 0.5 <clears throat> inches in diameter. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to start 2D sketch. I'm going to put my first hole here. I'm going to put a point. I could also create this as a revolution if I wanted to. Um, or if I wanted to create it in the initial revolution, I could do that as well, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and use hole, and I'm going to change the size here to a half an inch, okay? Now the next step, you'll see that I have a series of holes that I go around the outside. You could do that a couple different ways. You could use uh, one point and then have a, an array created. Um, you could have a whole bunch of holes and put them in uh, separately if you like. We're going to do it, we're going to use the array tool, okay? So I'm going to go back to here, and let me go back and get that dimension again. That's 1.5 from the center. That way I know how far to, to, to create it. I'm going to start another 2D, 2D sketch on this plane instead. I'm going to put a point here, and then I'm going to dimension it. The way it's the proper distance away from the center. And I have to modify that slightly. Okay, finish my sketch. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my hole in. And that's the proper size. Okay. Now, the other tool that I want to show you is the pattern. It's kind of like a circular array tool. 
So if you take a look up here for pattern, we can use mirror, we can use a rectangular pattern, or we can do a circular pattern. Now, since this is going around a diameter, we're going to use a circular pattern. Okay? Now, features. I need to select the feature that I want to create the pattern from in the tree. So I'll go over here, I'll select the hole because that's what I want to rotate around. Okay? Now, the rotation axis, I'm going to go ahead and have to use the axis that's here. Okay? So here, I'm going to use the x axis. Now, there's placement. How many holes do I want? And I do want six. If you want to double check that, you can hold your shift key down and click on your center mouse button just to kind of get a preview of where they're going to be generated. And this is going to tell me how far around the circle I'm going to get those. Okay? And this is exactly what I want. You can make those modifications here. Say okay. And then we're all done.